First in California, as Governor Gavin Newsom names late Senator Dianne Feinstein's replacement. And travel tricks, some tips that could save you some cash on your holiday getaways. You are watching The Rundown. I'm Lynette Romero in for Robin Winston. Governor Gavin Newsom has chosen LaFonza Butler to fill the seat of the late Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein. Butler is currently the president of EMILY's List, which works to elect Democratic women into office. She will be the third black woman to ever serve in the Senate, as well as the first openly LGBTQ person to represent California in the chamber. Governor Newsom announced his decision on Sunday. In California, the governor has the power to appoint a senator to serve until the next scheduled statewide general election. Memorial and funeral services for Senator Feinstein are planned for this week. On Wednesday, the public is invited to pay their respects as she lies in state at San Francisco City Hall. Well, it could be an important week for striking actors. Lead negotiators for SAG-AFTRA and Hollywood Studios are resuming talks once again. These negotiations come after a strike led by the Writers Guild of America ended last week. Actors joined writers on the picket lines in July, bringing production on most television shows and movies to a halt. Some of the demands the Actors Union are fighting for include better pay and working conditions and contracts that include protections against the use of artificial intelligence. Comcast, the corporation that owns our parent company, NBC Universal, is represented by the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. And some employees of the NBC News Group are represented by the WGA and SAG-AFTRA. An historic health care strike could get underway this week. The contract between Kaiser Permanente and its employees expired over the weekend. So now, 75,000 Kaiser workers are preparing to walk off the job starting on Wednesday. This would be the largest health care strike in U.S. history if it happens. Kaiser says it's confident an agreement will be reached before then, but they say hospitals and ERs have contingency plans for care. Gas prices dipped ever so slightly across Southern California, but you might not even notice. According to AAA, the price of a gallon of regular fell by less than half a cent from Sunday into Monday. Drivers in LA County are paying $6.28 a, ga a gallon. Governor Newsom has issued a waiver allowing distributors to switch to the cheaper winter blend of fuel sooner than usual. Experts say that could mean some noticeable relief at the pump in just a few weeks. And let's get a check of the work week forecast. Here's meteorologist Belinda Leon. Hi everyone. Well, we have officially started October, but this week you're going to ask yourself, what happened to fall? Here's what you can expect. We're starting off the week with sunshine and 70s. That storm system has moved on. But now we're going to have high pressure building in and that's going to cause a gradual warming trend. By the middle and late part of this week, the temperatures are going to be in the 90s. Not only that, we could also see the development of Santa Ana winds, the first wind event of this season. So here's what's happening in the weather setup. That storm system that was with us over the weekend, it caused that chilly weather with rain. That's gone. You're safe to wash your car. We're going to have sunshine for the rest of the week as high pressure moves into the picture. Now, by the middle and end of the week, this area of high pressure is going to be increasing those offshore winds. So if you live in those spots where you typically feel those Santa Ana winds, then you might want to prepare for this. And those offshore winds will also help raise our temperatures. Look at the trend in Van Nuys, 70s Monday, Tuesday, 86. But we're going to need the AC for the rest of the week with highs feeling more like summer. Well, it is now free to get out of jail in L.A. County for those accused of committing some nonviolent, non-serious crimes. The controversial zero bail system is now in effect. The new rule eliminates the existing cash bail system for all but the most serious of crimes in the county. Most people arrested on suspicion of nonviolent or non-serious offenses will either be cited and released in the field or booked and released at a police or sheriff station with orders to appear in court on a specific date for arraignment. Those who support the zero bail policy say the previous process favored the rich, which critics believe zero bail removes accountability from the justice system. Bail means I have the resources to pay my way out of jail. We are again saying it's a free-for-all uh, and our businesses and our residents are, are going to be bracing themselves. At least a dozen cities in LA County are looking to overturn the zero bail policy. Those communities, including Downey, Lakewood and Whittier, filed court papers last week seeking an injunction to block the implementation of zero bail. 
With one crisis averted, another is just beginning in Washington, D.C. for House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. The Bakersfield Republican is learning the price for making a deal to keep the government open could be his job. McCarthy's last-ditch effort to prevent a shutdown passed both chambers with more support from Democrats than members of his own party. Now Florida Republican Matt Gates is threatening to trigger a vote to remove McCarthy. If he's upset because he tried to push us in a shutdown and I made sure government didn't shut down, then let's have that fight. And so if Democrats want to own Kevin McCarthy by bailing him out, I can't stop him, but then he'll be their speaker, not mine. Most Republicans have spoken up in defense of Speaker McCarthy, but now if both chambers can't get on the same page, another shutdown threat could loom just before Thanksgiving. Tens of millions of Americans with federal student loans have to resume making payments up until Sunday. Borrows have had a financial reprieve for more than three years as the pandemic era repayment pause was extended multiple times. The Biden administration also tried to cancel up to $20,000 in student debt for eligible borrowers but the program was struck down by the Supreme Court in June. About one out of every eight Americans owns money, owes money on student loans. The fate of a famous mural depicting Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi still hangs in the balance. The mural on the Hardcore Fitness Building in downtown LA was supposed to come down over the weekend, but the owner of the gym says she and her landlord met late last week to try to reach an agreement about its future. She says her landlord is reviewing the details of their discussion and will be getting back to her early this week. Tens of thousands of people have signed a petition trying to save the mural, including Vanessa Bryant. The Nobel Prize for Medicine was awarded to two scientists whose discoveries enabled the creation of mRNA vaccines against COVID-19. They are Hungarian-American Caitlin Carrico and American Drew Weissman. Both are professors at the University of Pennsylvania. The Nobel panel says their groundbreaking work has fundamentally changed how some vaccines can be developed. The holidays are right around the corner, believe it or not, and you might be trying to plan your next trip. NBC's Noah Pransky has some tips on how you can save money on flights and get reimbursed for delays. Holidays are great. Breaking the bank over the holidays is not. So I've got three under the radar travel hacks for you to help you save money. One if you've yet to book, one if you've already booked, and one tip for everyone in case a future flight you take happens to get delayed. First, if you're looking at future travel, right now is a pretty great time to snag a bargain. And you may want to save this cheat sheet. Domestic flights are usually cheapest six to eight weeks before departure, which puts us right about now for Thanksgiving flights. For Christmas time, you want to plan a little further out, eight to 11 weeks according to Google, which puts you about mid-October. And international flights, you want to plan even further out if possible. Oh, and how about one bonus tip from one very frequent flyer? I'm Brian Kelly, founder of thepointsguy.com. I use Google Flights. Um, you can look by uh, calendar search, and being flexible by one or two days can save you dramatically. Okay, now the travel hack airlines don't want you to know about if you've already booked your ticket. With prices close to their lowest point in 18 months, you can ask for a rebate if the price has gone down since you've booked. Now, it depends on the airline and the kind of ticket you booked, but even if you can't get cash back, it's worth asking, many airlines will give you travel vouchers for the difference. Psst. This repricing trick, it works for hotels too. So check back in on those advanced bookings. And finally, with delays happening more and more at US airports, there may be a way to get reimbursed for any surprise costs you incur related to delays. You know, the airlines legally are not obligated to give you compensation, but your credit cards will. And that's what most consumers don't realize. So if you're delayed for a long time, flight cancellations, always ask your credit card company to reimburse the hotel, the rental car, and all those extra fees. Not to mention the meals, clothes, and toiletries you may have to buy if you get stranded for a long time. Because aren't the holidays stressful enough? I know I sleep better even after a long, terrible travel day if I've saved a few bucks. Now, hopefully, you can too. Noah Pransky, NBC News. Advice. Well, some big news for traveling families. JetBlue has announced a family seating guarantee that makes sure kids 13 years and 13 years old and younger sit next to an adult that's flying with them. Now, there's no additional fee with the new seating policy. JetBlue says it has a process that identifies reservations with kids and adults traveling together who don't have prior seating assignments. 
Toys R Us is plotting a bold comeback. The company has unveiled a major air, land, and sea expansion plan. 24 flagship stores will open across the U.S., and that's expected to happen early next year. In November, a new store will also land at Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. Toys R Us is bringing additional stores onto cruise lines. The expansion plan pl plans uh, come six years after the retailer declared bankruptcy. When I am performing, I am nothing but free. It is official. Beyonce's Renaissance World Tour is set for theatrical release on December 1st. The trailer was released during Sunday night's Chiefs-Jets game. This comes on the heels of Taylor's Eras movie set for theaters on October 13th. It's estimated that that movie will top $100 million on opening weekend. If you're looking to boost your chances at finding love on dating apps, try adding your pet's photo. But before you start updating your profile, there is a catch. According to a survey, people see positive characteristics in those who own pets, such as commitment, companionship, loyalty. It can even help break the ice. And while dogs are usually what most people would think could boost a dating profile, turns out not so much. Cats actually took the top spot on the list with 76% of dating app users saying they'd swipe right. Next came, believe it or not, reptiles and snakes and lizards at 62%. Horses were third at 61%, hamsters 57%, rabbits at 52%, and get this, dogs only got 41%. Last on the list, fish at 24%. Aw, poor fish. You can always get news and weather updates on the NBCLA app and on our website, NBCLA.com. And be sure to tune in to Today in LA on NBC4 weekdays from 4 to 7 a.m. Thanks for watching The Rundown.